In this video, we will learn how to upload financial data to Python. Before we can analyze any data, we need to be able to import the data set into Python. We can also download the data from an online data provider. Most data providers charge for data access, some are free. While having access to high quality data is critical, but our goal in this class is to acquire important programming skills and develop analytical thinking useful for coding in Python for solving real world financial problems. To download data from an open online data source such as Yahoo Finance, we need an internet connection. Alternatively, we can also upload our data file already saved onto our computers. While the online data vendors constantly update the data, they are free to make any data unavailable. In this course, we will see how to work with the online data providers such as Yahoo Finance. We will also do some exercises by uploading the data stored on our computer. While this data will not be up to date, it will remain on our computer until we delete these files. Let's first look at how to download the data from Yahoo Finance. Note that the data provider might change, but the process for downloading the data from an online source might remain similar to the one demonstrated in this video. To download the data from an online data source, we first need to import data from the Pandas data reader package using the following line of code. We rename the package as wb for our ease of use. Recall we pip installed data reader in one of our previous videos. Let's download the data for Microsoft starting from January 2019 and let's call this dataset as MSFT. We can use data reader function and specify three parameters in the parentheses. The ticker symbol which is MSFT. Make sure to enter the ticker in all capital letters. Next we should enter the data source. For the purposes of this example we'll use Yahoo. And finally, we should specify the start date. Let's download the data starting from January 2019. To do that, type 2019-1-1 in quotes. Press shift and enter to execute the command. In general, it is a good idea to look at your data once loaded. To do that, type the name of the dataset we created, which is MSFT in our case. Open, high, low, close, volume and adjusted close are the column names. In Python, the counting always starts from zero and this is why the zero row with the data is this one. The next row is first row and so on. More than likely, we will be using this data to calculate daily returns and hence all we need is the closing prices. However, we have two closing prices here, the adjusted closing price and the closing price and both seem to be different at the start but converge in the end. The difference is due to the stock price events such as dividend paid, stock buybacks or write offerings etc. So for our analysis, we should always use the adjusted close from Yahoo. Note that the data is recorded only on trading days and hence if it is a holiday as is the case with January 1st or the weekends, no data is recorded for those days. We can also use msft.info to get further information on the data. We notice that the number of data points for all the variables is the same, hence there is no missing data. This column tells us that all of the variables are floating type. Head and tail functions can be used to look at the data from the first and the last five rows of our data set. But if you would like to see different number of rows from top or bottom, you must indicate the specific number within parentheses. Let's see the first 30 rows in our dataset. The data looks good. So far we learned how to import data for one stock, but in practice we will almost always need the pricing data from multiple stocks. Let's see how we can use the iterations in Python to quickly download the adjusting closing prices for let's say 4 stocks, Microsoft, Tesla, Amazon and Apple. First we have to create a list with ticker symbols of companies. Type tickers equals and then add all of the four ticker symbols in quotes within the squared brackets. Then we need to create a new data frame object from pandas and we'll call it prices. Now we can use for loop to repeat the process for downloading adjusted closing prices four times, one for each ticker. Type for every t in tickers colon, download the adjusted closing price.
This code has a couple of differences from the one we wrote earlier to download the data for one stock, Microsoft. First, we have the index T containing the four tickers. And second, since we are only interested in downloading the adjusted closing price column, at the end of the code, we add ADJ close in quotes and within square brackets. Now we can see the data by executing these lines of code and typing the name of the data set prices. The data contains adjusted closing prices for the four stocks. Looks good. In the next video, we will learn how to work with the data stored on the computer. Thanks for watching.